Hi everyone. I'm getting ready to, Joey, knock it off. I was getting ready to go into the office with the babies and my husband's gonna take over watching this wild bunch. <laughs> and I thought I'd start the video in here. Who's carrying the food pans in here again? Joey. Joey, you poor little beggar boy. You poor little beggar boy. Look at you. They're all doing great. Get off me, you rotten boy. Get off. Let go. Oh, he just has to get. Hey, that's my leg. <laughs> Reba, quit. Don't get me. Boy, they are just, ouch. Do not bite me, little girl. I'll have to pick you up. <laughs> oh, they are rotten to the core. Ow! Come here. <laughs> Get in Dad's lap. Don't bite me. <laughs> oh, she's such a character. We love this girl. She is just so much fun. <laughs> oh, she's constantly picking at one of us. Just stirring up. Let's play games. Let's play games. <laughs> Oh, you are so cute. She's a cutie bug. And Chloe, she's about to annoy me today. She's barking at everything that moves outside. Which, by the way, I have to share. The yellow cat that was lurking around has been relocated. <laughs> he took a ride with Dad and uh, found a nice neighborhood away from us. <laughs> <laughs> you character, you, you are something. She's just so sweet. We are loving them every day. They're loving us. We're just having a good time uh, playing with them every day. There's my snuggle bunny. She laid down with me for a little while. I tried to get Miss Reba. I wanted to get her started taking a nap with mom and knowing that was a special treat, but no, right off the bat, I set her on the bed and she spit up all over it. So I had to boot her out. <laughs> Get back in here with your dad. Yeah, dad girl. <laughs> so uh, there's, there's some stuff that goes on with uh, teaching one to sleep with you. Uh, when they're little like that, you never know what they're going to do. So she didn't, she didn't even get to the good stuff where we snuggle and stuff. I booted her out of there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dance girl. But look at you. Oh, you tucked your bottom lip in, didn't you? <laughs> anyway, let's go see the babies because I think he's still watching more football. And uh, I want to sew a little bit tonight, but I want to uh, share the babies. And I want to uh, share, we just uh, found a family for another one of them. Uh, I have to take my shoes off because it's just easier getting in the playpen over here. But <clears throat> our little baldy, Conrad, has now been adopted. He's going to be going, oh, I forgot the name of it, but it's in Arkansas. Look at you, you gorgeous little boy. Let's see if I can peel. Oh, he has a very, very full milk belly. We've been eating, haven't you, little guy? So, he has been adopted. I'll have to, to look and tell you where he's going. But, yeah, I know it's in Arkansas. I just entered the information on my computer, and I can't remember now. But it's exciting that uh, Conrad has been chosen and little Josie has been chosen. Josie's going to the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And I'm still hoping I'm going to be keeping... Um, is it you? It's probably you, the one that's eaten. For Simon, no, it's this one, but he's eaten too. <laughs> so Simon with me, Conrad in Arkansas, Josie in Texas, and that leaves us five girls. 
We still have CC, the girl with the Haggerty dot. And what was your name? Let me grab my cheat sheet so I can kind of show you and tell you who's who. I keep my scales and schedulers and everything right here so that I can uh, usually have it to be ready, but I have my cheat sheet too. I've been weighing them every couple of days and they just keep going up in weight. Let me see. Casey, that's who I think this little girl is. She has the black that goes across the back of her head and and then her collar. Look at you, gorgeous. Casey and Jelly. Callie and Jana and Cece. That's the only ones we have still available. So if you're looking for a female, we have five of them. And they're starting to draw some attention on all the platforms we're on. I use the Good Dog website, of course, YouTube and uh, Facebook and TikTok. So they're starting to stir up some excitement the more videos I put out there. Isn't she gorgeous? I just love that girl. I love her little blaze, and I like the way that black goes across the back of her head. And then I'm looking. Callie. I think this one is Callie. She's Josie and Callie were my two smallest puppies, and they weren't small. One weighed 6.6. .6. Callie weighed 6.6 .6 at birth, and Josie weighed 8 ounces. But they were smaller than the rest of the babies. You're going to wiggle out of my hand, little girl. Isn't she just perfectly marked? She's just gorgeous. I'm going to put you down before you squirm away. She's got the two, two white front legs. Hey, I want to see you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. She's a squirmer. Yes, you are. So that is, who did I say? Callie? And then the others are the bigger girls. Who is this? That's my little boy. That's Simon. Look at that smushy face. Oh, what a pretty boy he is. And who is this laying back here? That's uh, someone with the boot and the toes. Boot and toes. That's Jana. Jana's a beautiful girl. She's got some good brindle going on. Beautiful collar and blaze. Look at that smushy face. Aww. That would be Jana, who's so full, she's just sleeping while I'm touching her. And then, who is this? That's that one. Let me see this one. Who is this one with two white? Oh, that's Cece. She has the Haggerty dot. That girl is full. I can just feel her little belly. It feels like a little water balloon. Oh, did you get full, Simon? Oh, Josie, oh, was that all of them? I think that was all of them. Oh, look how big they're getting. They're just getting, growing like right in front of my eyes. I'll weigh them again tomorrow. But uh, yesterday, I think it was, I weighed them. Let me see if I can just take a peek. At that, I thought I wrote it down, or I thought I had it in here where I wrote everything down. Well, I'm not seeing it now. Hmm, I thought I had it right here. Oh, I do. There it is. The yesterday, they're weighing 13, 14. They're, they've really topped up there. Callie was the 6.6 .6 girl. She's weighing almost 8 ounces now. So 
So they're all growing and doing well. Mama's doing well. She's spending a little more time in the sunshine outside, but also staying devoted in here. Somebody's a rocking over there. <laughs> What's your, what is it, baby? What is it, huh? What is it, baby? Yeah, you need to get some next to somebody so you can snuggle in. I just think this little girl's head is so unique with that way her black mask goes all the way around. It looks like it makes a little heart shape right there. And then the collar begins and it goes all the way around. She's, she, I don't, we should have named her Ringo. <laughs> she just looks like she's got a ring around her neck. Yes, you do. She's a good sized little girl too. Oh, she's just gorgeous. But anyway, that's just where we're at. Everybody's just eating, sleeping, and growing, huh, Mama? And pooping. Yes, yes, Mama, we know. <laughs> it's what babies do. It's what babies do, huh? Candy gets over here and lays down. Or, and she's so good, you know, when I had three mamas and three litters in here just what a month ago two months ago i had three play pens set up and i had to put tops on top of them for two of my mamas because they continued to jump out candy she doesn't do that i can leave this open just like this and she stays in her her area i do uh close this up when i go to bed <clears throat> just so I don't encourage any pilfering, but she stays right with them, and she doesn't really pilfer. When I'm in here, I'll leave it open so she can come out and walk around. We've got to do some carpet shampooing and stuff, but we'll do that after the babies move out of here and when they move into the living room. But uh, for the most part, Candy's a perfect mama. She knows... Her responsibility is right here, and she has every instinct and desire to want to be right here. And uh, um, gradually, see, the puppies are a week old today. So throughout this next week, I'm going to stop uh, have bringing her room service, and I'm going to start encouraging her to come back to the to eat with the rest of the dogs. So. That'll be, be better because if I don't, she's always going to think that she gets room service and we don't want that. That is something I do for my mamas though, so they don't have to try to uh, compete for their food with the rest of the pack and I'll bring it to them. Plus I mix it up a little special. I keep them on a high calorie uh, diet and at least through weaning just to keep up her her nutrients and all. When they're nursing like that, that takes a lot out of them, and I want to put a lot back in. So she's loving it. I keep some, uh, if I rattle the bag, <laughs> she'll know. I keep some snacks in here just for her that I give. Oh, yeah, she heard the bag. Now, now she's got to have a snack. I'll get it. I'll get it. I love our bark box treats. I use the vet dog treats that I get at Walmart. That's our daily treats for going in the crate and things like that, training and everything. But I do pull out the special treats from BarkBox for, for other things when they need a treat. We're not real treat oriented. We do give the vet dog treats every day. At bedtime, they get them for going in their crates and being so good. But there are times, too, when if I have to leave or something and they have to go in a crate, I'll give them an extra special treat for that. And just being the good mama gets all kinds of treats, huh, mama? Yeah. I'll, I'll bring her a slice of cheese in here and, and hand feed her piece by piece. So mamas get special treatment around here. <laughs> 
They all love this room too. When I they see me come this way, it's the mamas that want to come because they know this room is special. This room is special, huh, baby? Anyway, I'm gonna get off of here. That's the this is the other video I told y'all about. Plus, I wanted to celebrate Conrad getting adopted and kind of go over the girls that we have left. Now, I tell you, we've had boys for the last three, four, five litters, I think. We've had so many boys. It's really nice to have more girls. We had six girls and two boys in this litter. So, and uh, the boys, the boys were taken, well, Josie got taken and then Conrad, and I'm keeping Simon, or I'm planning to. So, uh it's usually the girls are what usually go first so but i'm tickled pink that conrad has a new family he's going to be going to so anyway y'all have a blessed day and i will or a blessed evening and everybody get up and go to church tomorrow and i probably won't check in until after church so y'all have a good evening